Now do you see why I had to put those stairs in before fixing this column? Now if this column would not have been dry rotted and if only the step had been dry rotted, I would have been in a heck of a bind, huh? I would have had to cut that stair tread in half in thirds, pull out the center section, pull the side piece out on both sides. That would have been a real pain because it would have been nailed in there and all that kind of stuff. Then I would have had to put it back in two pieces. I mean, it would have been possible, but uh, I'm just glad I didn't have to do that. Okay? So, that's why I did the stairs first, and I knew I could get them in there. I knew it was going to be kind of tough to swivel it in there, but hey, I got her. Oh man, I'm sure glad those stairs are done. Now to tackle this column. Uh, the dreaded column. There's nothing inside that. It's just stucco on the outside. I had to take all the OSB plywood out, all the 2x6s except that one. Fortunately for me, that one 2x6 right there was still in pretty good shape and the back wall of the OSB plywood was okay. Other than that, there's nothing inside of there. So I have to rebuild the entire thing. And that's what my video is going to be about today. I'm going to start tackling that. I guess I take all this stuff in every night and then I have to bring it all back out. This is just some of the stuff that I'm going to be working with today. I'm also going to be using this rosin paper. I call it craft paper, K-R-A-F-T. And I'm going to put that on the back side of the plywood and stuff. I've got the stapler for it. And I've got lots of stuff to show you today. So if that's what you want to see on this particular video with me, come along. Well, I got my platform built and it's actually pretty sturdy. I trust I trust myself on that. Three layers of crummy <laughs> OSB half inch plywood that I saved. And these are just scrap uh, Douglas fir pieces that I took out, the two by sixes that I saved and I cut and made this platform. And before I get on up in there, I'm just gonna kind of scope it out. And this two by six, this two by six right here, ultimately I'm gonna put a new two by six next to it just to just to strengthen it up. Because I don't know how much dry rot there is. See, there's some right in here and probably on up in here. It's probably pretty bad. But the majority of it looks okay. See, it's kind of cracked up there up at the top and stuff and if you see along the edge there's nails see the nails that's from the plywood that got nailed on before the stucco and everything and so I, I'm not going to be able to get my 2x6 up there tight am I unless I cut all of those nails off and so that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to cut all, all of these off with my sawzall. And I got my metal cutting blade on there and I'm going to have to shimmy up in there. And while I'm up there, I'm going to kind of feel on here because this is just the back side of the old paper and the stucco is just beyond that. So I, I had to chop all the staples off. It took me forever when I was pulling off the old OSB plywood and like see these pieces here see this still has to be cut off that's got to be cut off there's another one there's another one right there see all those and I did a pretty good job I got I got up there and did most of them from before but now I'm gonna have to get up in there and do a better job because because I'm gonna put the plywood right up against here new OSB plywood and I want to get it up as tight as I can 
without hitting all these little nails and stuff. So I gotta check the top, this side, this side over here. Not this back side because this is the old OSB and I was able to figure to save that. It wasn't dry rotted very much. You see all the staples? I just bent these down and not sure. I think I'm gonna put another piece of OSB plywood over the top of that just for kicks. Um, but that's how many staples were in all of these other ones. I have to check this one up here too. I had to cut every single last one of those. One staple is, you know, two prongs is one staple, one staple, one staple. And so I've got a little prep work to do before I get up there and measure. I'm getting ready to put the first piece up and this is how I did it. I measured the top, it was 18 and 3 eighths, it was about 18 and a long half. I made it 18 and 3 eighths, wrapped two layers of paper around it. And this, this is actually the very, very top, okay? And I just folded this down so that once I, once I lift it up there, ooh, like that, then I can take the paper and fold it down, okay? And these are gonna be my little helpers. This is out of my little track. I cut it and uh, I popped some little holes in it, cut it and bent it up there. So when I push it up, it's gonna be up tight like this, push it up. And then I got a taller one because remember the only, the only plywood I got here is this back piece and that two by six up there. So I gotta, I gotta push the piece up there like that to get it over that two by six, raise it up. Then I'm gonna put that tall bracket on the two by six like that, push it, push it up. And that two by six is about three inches shy of the top because there was two layers of two by sixes flat that go on top of the up underneath the uh, the plywood once I get it. So I was like, how am I gonna hold it up there? Well, I can push it up there all the way with this bracket, push it up, screw it in to hold that up there from falling on my head. And then I can flip around and then I can push that one up and there's a lip on this so I can kind of slide it over and kind of teeter-totter it until I can reach around here and get these because once I'm up there I I don't really have much room to do anything I've got all my stuff kind of sitting right here and I've got a shimmy up there and hopefully I can get it and I was gonna do a dry run but I thought nah I'm gonna put the paper on I could have I could have done a dry run and then if I needed to cut it eight uh, 18 and a quarter instead of 18 and 3 eighths on one side or something like that. I could have, but I'm hoping to push it right up in there. And I don't know, this paper, this paper might slightly hold it back. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it anyways. And we'll see what happens. Well, I got her. I got her up there. You see that? I got it, flopped the paper down. And I screwed in the bracket, pushed up tight. What I should have done was cut the corners off of that plywood up there. Just because in a couple areas, it's, it's kind of round, you know, on the back side. And it was hitting just barely. I could have made it just a hair smaller. You can see, I tore the paper a little bit right there. Right there. And right up in there. Not very much, but see, if the water does come in up through there 
and down I want to make sure that it comes on top of the paper okay and nowhere else and so see my next piece when I cut the next piece I'm gonna put paper on it all the way up on the back side of the plywood let's see if I cut this piece next go up there and it will be all the way on that piece of plywood as I lift it up. 